running in the past to Sandown. And he's going on his men, so using a good stride. Debbie's warning sits second. The odds on favourite Mujahid is racing in third. Anschluss racing four. Brancaster and the dark blue cap on the inner. And then tracking these comes Wallace. And sitting at the back of the pack is uh, Frankie on Compton Admiral, the orange colours with a white cap. Returned uh, five to two on the Johnny Mujahid sitting in third place. Interesting, isn't it? They're keeping just a, a few horse widths off the uh, inner rail there. And it's Steve Drown on Mensa who leads to Debbie's warning in second. And then Mujahid going into third place and into a closing third at that. As uh, we could join from the wire camp, pushed along is Anschluss on the outside. Wallace, Richard Hughes is moving well. And Compton Admiral, one of the nine Compton horses in the orange jacket of Eric Pensler. He has six Beechams as well. Come past the three furlong marker. And the favourite is uh, on the outside, the striped cap, and he's having to shake the reins at Mujahid and go to work, and there's nothing there. They uh, come past the three and down to the two. What a disappointment. Mujahid drops right away. Debbie's warning. What a big price this is to Mensu in second. Orange colours on the outside. Compton Admiral with a run. But Debbie's warning at 66 to 1. Joined by Mensa. Right on the stand side on the extreme left. White cap. Here's Compton Admiral. They're inside the final furlong now. 150 yards to the line. And it's Compton Admiral striding away. Under Frankie Dottori. Compton Admiral beats Brancaster. There are one and two. Debbie's warning third. Mensa four. What a flop. Mujahid. A remote five. But in front of... Uh, Anschluss and last of all was Wallace and so a bit of a result here, a bit of a turn up the winner of the City Index Craven is number five on the card Compton Admiral in the colours of Eric Fencer trained by Gerald Butler, his uh, big group winner and at 13 to 2 second horse home is number four Brancaster in the colours of the Royal Ascot Racing Club I wonder if that <laughs> will get to Royal Ascot odds on so to do isn't it and a good performance by Brancaster brought an unbeaten record into the race but second now, and third was number six, Debbie's Warning, and a phenomenal race uh, by that warning colt. Debbie's Warning, trained by Cameron Mardi here at Newmarket, ridden by Jimmy Quinn, a huge outsider. But Mujahid was the big, big disappointment, and beaten a long way from home for this to be too good to be true. Well, that's been such a help in analysing the races. He's still, a f he's still high in the sky, but one bubble is well and truly burst because Mujahid was a desperate disappointment there. Uh, just talking to a colleague here, I mean, it was not so much he got beaten, he was beaten so far out. Very disappointing, and the race began in earnest. Three furlongs out, and the winner has had to come from behind, and it's a, probably a better performance than this looks. If you look at the um, Debbie's warning now in green colours, Jimmy Quinn on the inside, just taking over the lead from Mensa, and Brancaster rode along, stays on strongly, doesn't do anything quickly, and Frankie Dottori's had to pull out from behind the favourite, go all the way round, use his horse up to get there, and then find a little bit extra and hold on. But he's done it well, he thought maybe when he got into the dip and just maybe hit that hill, he just might tire in the closing stages, but staying on strongly, battled on well, good effort from Brancaster, he wants further, he's stuck to his task really gamely, and Mensa's battled on to be a worthy fourth. 